We're back again. Let's get to the table and let's talk. Welcome back, fight fans. After two months of being off, we finally had a fight of the decade, some would say. Uh, this is probably just as big, if not bigger, than Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. Um, last night, we seen a Terrence Crawford batter Errol Spence Jr., something that we haven't seen ever Um the fact that the man went down for the first time in his career three times uh, says a lot about the fighter that Terrence Crawford is. Um, I personally expected uh, Errol Spence to walk away with the victory, but I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. And uh, seems like ever since I started this channel, I've been wrong about a few things. Before I started YouTube, it seemed like I was getting every fight back to back. But... There's always been something in me that goes for the underdog. And to me, Ter Errol Spence was definitely an underdog. Um, but needless to say, um, I wasn't surprised. Uh, started out great in the first round. I guess the thing that surprised me was how fast um, he just had no defense. Uh, everything that he threw was bouncing off Bud's gloves. Um, everything that missed was countered. And he just looked like a very beat up man. Um, but, you know, that's boxing. We never know what's going to happen. Given the fact they have a rematch clause in the contract, um, it would be nice to see this fight over again. I'm pretty sure everybody who paid for it would pay for it again. Um, like I said, it was just that type of fight. And I do like how Terrence Crawford is humble um, and says if he wants to run it back, he will. He's not beating around the bush. Um, the referee stopping the fight last night was definitely the smart thing to do. Both guys, tremendous fighters, and it was very exciting. And if they run it back, um, I would definitely pay for it. I think they should run it back. I think this fight alone um, had has a lot of buildup in case they do want to go forward with that rematch clause. September's a month out. Uh, we got Canelo and Charlo. Yeah, anybody who knows Boxing Talk or follows me uh, knows I'm a big Canelo fan. Um, no fanboy, but definitely a favorite in my opinion. I think he's going to walk through them fairly easy. Uh, hope he uses a little more head movement. I believe he's knocks him out within, within the first, at least the first eight. It's not going to go to a decision, um, but I've been wrong before. We'll see if I'm wrong again. Let me know your thoughts on the Canelo and Charlo fight. If I can get 20 comments on this video. Um, 17th, uh, comment that I see will be getting a pair of, uh, Everlast boxing gloves sent to him. Uh, I will send you a message. Give me your address and all your information. We will exchange that between the two of us. And, uh, I will send you a pair of gloves, share this, follow me, uh, tell your friends to subscribe to the channel and let's keep this going. Only going to be, uh, only talking about you know the big fights just don't see a whole deal of making a youtube channel every day it's hard enough to get something it's been two months since my last video but yeah 17th comment share it like it subscribe um and you'll get sent home with a pair of boxing gloves uh this has been fun to do the fight was great last night i do hope they run it back this has been boxing talk i'm kirk and we're out Thanks to the 83 subscribers that have subscribed to my dad's channel. If you haven't, make sure to do so. This is Boxing Talk. Thank you for watching.